Hello everyone. Welcome to Cornflower Crafts. Corn here. And this is going to be a very different video because we're not crafting together. We don't have a finished project. I guess you could call this Come with me to the ca to the craft room and just hang. <laughs> I don't have anything set or planned except to show y'all what I've been doing and um, I'm gonna go ahead since let me see you're seeing from here to here okay and hopefully I stay in frame I hope I hope and um, if you've been here before you know that this is the start the cover of my next handmade giveaway and it's black and white with it was supposed to be mainly yellows and golds and stuff but it went to other things and I'll tell you why well, I'll show you why because I found this wonderful Oh, sorry, and um, there goes my knee on my desk. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, kabibble. Um, found this wonderful blouse. And you all know if I find wonderful blouses that I've had, never wore it. But the blues with that yellow, because I really needed, remember on my, I think it was last or time before last, I don't craft with a lot of yellow and I know it's some of my darling subby's favy color but it's not mine and so I don't I mean it's not like oh gee I've never crafted with it that's not true but I don't craft with or create with it a lot but I'm having fun for real I'm having fun with it so but what I do like everybody else is you pull you pull in your stash what I have what I want to work with, what, and, and if you've had some for a long time, you're like, dang, I didn't even know I had that. Um, this um, blouse I didn't, I forgot I had. And remember, I've been uh, cleaning out the house, cleaning out the craft room, cleaning out um, everything. And uh, so I was really happy to find this. So then, of course, if that happens, I'm going to pull in the pink, pull in the blue, pull in the green, you know, stuff like that. So, because I really love this fabric, and I'll be using it more in this project. And another thing that I found that um, I've had, that, remember when Dollar Tree came out with this um, darling, absolutely precious kitchen towel? This is all cotton. Be the bee, make the honey. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but, but I love the bees. And I do have, I've used one of them so far. But that's what I'm working with. Lots and lots of bees. And I know they're popular right now, but with Handsome and I, they've been popular for a long time. And I do have a video, if you're interested in seeing. It's a small swarm, but a small swarm came and visited us in the backyard. And we did... When I told Handsome about it, he said, let's let's go film it. And it is one of the coolest things that's happened to me, I can tell you. Um, we were <laughs> inches away from them. We were so happy to see those honeybees. And one of them was fascinated with Handsome's hair. And he stayed in his on top of his head for a long time. <laughs> but anywho, so... I've got pages. This is, like I say, this is to show you um, my desk looks hideous. Um, I did go ahead and pull a small little, it's not a table really, it's um, little drawers that I got from Deutschland when we lived there from Germany. And I had them out because remember we're supposed to be having some work done but that hadn't been done yet. So. I pulled them back in because I was like, even though it gives me like a foot and a half, I need a foot and a half more room to put stuff. So, pages, you know, looking like this, the black and white, and um, lots of roses. 
I haven't glued these yet, but or you don't have to glue them either if you want somebody to continue journaling here. Um, the black and white account. I don't think I've done anything in that now. Um, there's the pink. Um, I do need to tell you all, I failed miserably with my first attempt on my cover. This is not my original attempt. My original attempt was black and white stripes. That's what I wanted. And I messed up so badly, I couldn't fix it. And you know, you all are probably like me, if you make a mistake, you think, okay, what can I do to make it better? And sometimes we make a mistake and we say, oh, cool, I, I can live with that. It's cool. I think it's cute. I couldn't live with this one. I mean, I just couldn't make it better no matter what I did. And I tried everything that I know of. So, as Heather would say, I put it in the bin. <laughs> and um, so this will be, I thought this looked really pretty here, but it might change. I think it looks really pretty there too. But um, yeah, so like just trying to find whatever yellow I have, whatever, you know, whatever, my blacks and whites. Um, this is one of my pages. You can see that it's curling a little bit because I put gesso on it. I did ink around it with the um, Wild Honey Distress Oxide after I gessoed, but um, it was so, just too bright. And then I tried to come in a little, cause it looks like a honeycomb. And I wanted to use it, but it was just a little too much for me. But I did go all the way around it. And then I do, you know how I do that on my corners and stuff, that's nothing new. And then this gorgeous daisy wreath is from Martha Stewart from I got that at Tuesday morning. Guess how long ago, guys? It was on the, the price tag four years ago. <laughs> Hoard much corn? Yes. I don't know if I'm going to do something in here and just leave it. I'm not really sure. But, in fact, I probably need to put this at the bottom of the pile so that we can at least try to work with that peep. You know, get the paper flattened a little bit. So show you real quick some of the stuff I mean it, it fascinates me inside the mind of a crafter because some crafters are like you know very um, you know I'll do this 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 and this and a lot of crafters as you know they sew in their pages first I don't I sew them in last <laughs> the way I decorate them and stuff it's better for me last so I did one of these little goodies you know where you make your own envelope and then I stenciled on the inside and then this darling little sunflower sticker is from Dollar Tree guys you remember when they did the, the sunflowers and then I just have a little card a little yellow card and I might go ahead everything is so pointy on this I might do the Round the corners, but I think you know I left it because everything is just so you know pointy, 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 pointy. <laughs> so that's one of the little things. So we not only have bees. This little sticker is from Maggie Holmes. Um, we have butterflies. This is from her too, but I put it on cardstock. What I do, most of y'all already know this, is the. Um, Uhu, I guess is how you say it. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is from Deutschland. And if you get uh, craft supplies and stationery and everything from Germany, I promise you, because we used to live there, it's, it's one of the best ever. Seriously, they're fantastic. And then this is a flower punch. And then the little leaves there are uh, from Trim. And Handsome, I did two of these. One of them had... Um, a yellow rose with um, stickles on it and everything and handsome saw the two of them he said if you want to give me one I'll take it so <laughs> I was like okay and then this piece is broadcloth um, the yellow here and that I just 
you know, ripped and frayed the edges a little bit. And that I got from, that's one of my Hobby Lobby hauls recently, a little two um, little remnants of broadcloth. That's one of them. So I'm using stuff from there. Um, to go in little pockets and little things, uh, I had remembered that I had some B paper. Well, oh, wait a minute. I've got it. I'll show you. Yay, I brought it up here. It's normally downstairs in my office. This got how gorgeous is this? And I remember I had it, and I was like, oh, baby. And yes, I know that I got it. Remember how they, this emblem of that precious elephant. Uh, who carries this stuff is Tuesday morning, so it's got a magnetic clothes. I can hear uh, Annie right now saying, ooh, purple. <laughs> and I love violets because of my grandmother and mom. Um, I'm using this, I'm using this, I'm using this, and I'm using this. So, in the journal. And I, was, I remembered I had that, and I was like, grab it. It's bees. So we've got that. And then what I did with what I, the larger one I showed you, and I thought what would be so much fun is for the winner to write back here. How fun would that be? Um, this reminds me so much of my grandmother. Um, let me pull this. Um, ah, I've got stuff everywhere. This I got, as you see. <laughs> well, that's pretty. <laughs> this I got from my... Um, from Hobby Lobby on clearance and my first thought was so I paid 99 cents for it right yeah and my first thought was interesting green but then when I put um, this is these flowers I glued you know the dark I punched them and this is a Fisker's punch and the dark purple and then the lavender on top when I did that and I put that behind it I thought oh my lord that's exactly what my maternal grandmother would do so that's why I did that and to be very honest in everything I've made for this journal this is my favorite thing <laughs> because I think because it reminds me so much of her excuse my arm across my desk and this is what's in their center you know, matches really well. So, and then inside of that, we have these little purple. And then I did um, this little punches from Hobby Lobby from like 75% of like three years ago or what have you. And then I do have a Hobby Lobby punch that does the very small uh, corners, round the corners, and puts a little teeny heart in the middle which I thought would look cute on this. So, that goes in, you know, pockets, pockets. I do that too, I'm like, okay, what, make you some small things. And I don't know about you guys, and I know a lot of y'all gonna think I'm silly, but there are times where I'm working on something and I'll just stop because I think, oh, you should do this or don't forget about that. And I don't just go do that. And then I'll come back to it. <laughs> so you'll see things like this and then eh. So another thing that I got or that I did, um, this is just white cardstock and I had a stencil. I just did this side. This stencil is, um, I don't even know where it's from guys. But it's adhesive back, and oh, look how clear and yummy that is. And I took the scattered straw distress ink and did put that with the sense, you know, went darker in spots and lighter in others, and I couldn't be happier with that. This is, I think, Jolie's Boutique B. And then this sticker because bees, as you know, are very drawn to purples and blues and yellows and for their pollen. This sticker came from a book, let me grab it, it's behind me, that, oh boy, I gotta move stuff just to hit stuff, wow. This one, 
Um, a lot of you all are familiar with this book, this sticker book. One th over 1,000 Victorian stickers, and this was gifted to me by um, Midges Mountain Crabs. And um, quite a few stickers that I thought would look great in this book, I just pulled. And as you see, I've got my mat at because I was doing some watercoloring and stuff, so I needed to protect my other mat. So, and I'll just stick them down because I always put the glue stick on the back so I don't have to worry about the adhesive, you know. And I hope you can hear me. My fan is on. It's closer to the microphone than normal, but it is so sticky and so hot here that I need it to so, um, so we've got that and then on the back I just put this lace and I wanted the lace can you see it I hope you can see it let me I wanted it to stick out here so that it would pick up the black stripe in the bee and then this bee remember um, um I think either last Hobby Lobby haul or the time before that bee was the only thing, the only stickers I got uh, full price, they were 99 cents in the party section, they are envelope seals. And I just put them on the white cardstock and then fussy cut them out. And then this black rose is from Trim. And this wonderful, wonderful ribbon. I'm pretty sure this is what I found on my first Dollar Tree haul back from what was it like a year and a half since I had set foot in Dollar Tree and when I found that I was like oh please and thank you so there's another thing that goes in there then <laughs> I wanted to make um, let me show you you know on your pages where you can put a little something or you can even make them like a tag and put them here decorate your page however you want go here wherever but a lot of people put them here and they use them kind of like as a tab and it's a ruffle and most people go ahead and sew them but remember I'm not getting on my sewing machine yet with paper um, I'm going to do it this fall now by me saying it out loud <laughs> that means I'm gonna do it yay but I'm just it's just something I've never done before even though I've sewn since I was a teenager so I'm like, okay. But what I did was take a book page, and I, would, I can't show you the book it's from because it's, I was having so much fun. I've already read it. It's by Maeve Benchy, and I love her. Oh, there goes the motorcycles. Um, sorry about that. I love Maeve Benchy. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, she, God rest her soul, she was an Irish writer, and she had, passed away not too long ago most people know her from one of the movies made um, she wrote Circle of Friends and um, with Minnie Driver and I think it's Chris O'Donnell I think we're in that um, and Alan Cumming whom I love oh I love him so much anywho um, so that's from that book and I was all set just to use that book I'd gotten it at Dollar Tree but I had read it before then and <laughs> and I was like uh oh I'm in trouble because I want to reread sections of it so anywho but I did get this done and just tore the edges and then put a strip of this is paper not cardstock of the little um, golden yellow gingham and this is, of course, from the trim and punch and punch and stickles. And then I do have a tiny little bee punch. I got this off of Amazon. And um, Sunlit is who puts this out. There's the punch. And um, I punched the bee out. I love silhouettes in animals and people and everything. I just, I'm a silhouette girl. And this is in my paper is in very lightly glittered black and as you see I started out straight and then I kind of went Wee! and the old corn would have redone it but this corn says no 
No, leave it. It looks good. Leave it alone. So that'll go on one of the pages. Then I did this envelope, which I wanted to show because our darling Heather, and I will list her below. I will list the video where she did this. She did, uh, she gives credit to someone else. So while watching her do it, which I think was, uh, I love that video. I loved it so much. I was like, I'm making one now. And that's one of those things. If I was working on something else, I'm like, push it aside. I want to do it while, you know, Heather's voice is fresh in my head. And um, she she did her envelope. Anyway, it's um, Gypsy Crafter Journals here on YouTube. And she did this envelope where it's a torn envelope. And what you do is you make an envelope and then you tear it. And look, look at the back of it. I showed it to Handsome, and he was like, oh, that's cool. And I said, I know. I know, I just love it so much. Look how cool. The, oh, and on the inside, see, this is where, you know, I had to glue it and everything. So I just took um, black, I think it was, um, what is it called? It's not ground espresso. It's like black soot, I think and distress that piece because it was white on the inside and it's torn and I told Handsome you know you can make them beautiful you should see hers the one she created but she shows us several she shows us the ones she created with her craft paper and she also shows us ones um, a shabby chic one oh yum 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 and she works with handmade paper on that one too it is gorgeous so I highly recommend you watch that and so what I did since I'm doing my black and my white and, and my yellow and that that's the fabric from the blouse and then this darling I think that's Jolie's boutique too this darling little bee with glitter on his butt and um, so then I thought to close it and would be fun to do it with this yellow uh, clothespin and so there's another thing for the journal and then this one I just did this morning um, with the this is a little doily in fact it's two doilies together because I get so nervous when I work with doilies like this this is not me either this is uh -oh. I think her I don't watch her a lot but I think her name is Gail from the paper outpost I think if I'm wrong please correct me and um, she calls this a doily burrito <laughs> and I glued two of the doilies together on the edge all the way around because I needed it to me they're just so delicate I needed it nice and strong so this is just a matter of opening this up and being able to journal in here and that's my filling for the burrito and I just decorated it this is another sticker from the book that Midge gave me and then I put um, a little white sequin and then put a little stickles on top of that I don't like to see the holes and sequins I know that's goofy but I'm goofy sometimes <laughs> sometimes so and then this uh, Daisy is from a trim and what Gail does I would love to do when I, I'm going to be working sometime in the future on a vintage journal with corsets or maybe they might even be cards and there's two little holes you know how you see the two holes here and here that meet in the middle under this um, applique and you can you know take embroidery floss or uh, you could even take uh, twine or any you know what I mean and lace them up a little bit and I thought ooh, wouldn't that be fun to do in a journal where I have a few corsets from Stamperia to display I thought that might be fun so anyway so there's that went with it too and then I made this little pocket that goes in there too um, this was taken I 
fussy cut this out as you see it's a beautiful picture of a hand embroidered doily and then this little button they were on the same piece of paper it's kind of I got them four years ago also at Tuesday morning you know how you could buy like 10 pages of 10 pieces of the same page I love that page so much it has to deal with sewing and stuff that I was like I'll take it you can see I've done nothing with the tag that goes inside but I wanted it to be black because I was like girl this is awfully busy <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do something with that um, I did have oh, I did have a little bit of trim up there but I don't see it then you guys saw me do this this is with the napkin um, I absolutely positively love this napkin and then Jolie's Boutique this is that really dimensional and I mean dimensional flower and bead aren't they precious and iridescent wings I mean yum and this will go with it also and these were gifted to me by Trina thank you darling then I did this tag do you guys remember um, when I showed you two sets of here they are, tags that I got in my that in one or the other of I'm sorry they're reflective of my um, Hobby Lobby haul for 75% off remember I told you I said I'll use them in my next one well I'm gonna use here's one <laughs> that's how I did that one and this right here, do y'all remember I also showed you that I had gone to, one of those halls I had gone to get 50% off of all the Park Lane goodies that I found at Joanne Fabrics. Well, there's one of the pieces there. I just rounded the corners and then there's the little V fabric that's uh, cotton from Dollar Tree, but I wanted his little butt to be glittery so I did put some stickles on it and um, what I did with that fabric was because there are some fabrics as you've seen when I was working on that blouse I can rip this way and I can rip this way there are others you can only rip one way because the other way will get all wonky well that's one of them so I ripped it this way but the rest of the way not even this I thought no get out your pinking shears and then that is placed on there because this paper is very slick. This one from Park Lane um, with Fabri-Tac. So, but real tickled with, I hope you can see his shiny butt. Cute, cute. And then I have the twine. And then this uh, seam binding is actually vintage that I got at a thrift store. Then... I've got this little, see, remember when I showed you I wanted to use that paper? Remember? All of, you know, all the bee stuff in this? Well, there's that. I had to whittle that down because that was a little post-it note. And then this piece here, yep, you guessed it. There it is. On this park lane. Remember, I'm, I'm showing you. I'm using what I got. <laughs> And then because I wanted to keep it flat since it's going to go in the journal. And this is one of my favorite papers I've been hoarding. And I wanted to, it's Queen Anne's Lace, you guys. How precious is that? I just love Queen Anne's Lace. I just think it's so yummy. So I was like, okay, you can't use your bling. I normally use my bling here because when I do the corners like that with the crocodile, I usually do bling and, or hearts or something. And I was like, okay, you want to keep it flat. So, and then I added this little piece of the black lace that you see. And those are from Amazon. And I was like, okay, keep it flat. So what I do is I just take my regular, I might have told y'all before. If I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. So I just took this baby, you know, your hole puncher. And did it four times with my <laughs> glitter yellow paper and I was like oh I like it <laughs> keeps it flat and it brings a pop of color which makes your eyes go right here to the honey with the bee right there so 
then we go to something like this is another one of the pages that is that fabric I thought <laughs> let me see if I can put it uh, a metal die and uh, I have them you know the nesting dies let me you know I kept using this look good no no all the sizes and I thought oh that'll look great and it even has like the stitching here which is kind of cute but <laughs> everything went fine see this everything went beautiful till you got right there and then it wanted to fray but to me now some people would say I'm not using that but to me I think it's really pretty so I left it and so that's one of the pages I'm still working on that and then just another little goodie um, with the, I'm pretty sure that's a belly band. Let's see, yep. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so a little belly band on that with um, just some little piece, a little collage. And then just a tiny, this, I think that little sticker that I put on, um, white cardstock. I'm pretty sure Handsome got me those. There's another one. And then this one. There's another one of the little pages. Um, this one, I'm so happy with. Again, hoarding, hoarding, because it's so shabby chic. Well, how many years ago, guys? Help me out here. Do you all remember? Blooming Spring. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, Joanne Stores. Um, do you guys remember that? And you know if it's shabby chic. I got it on clearance, though. I waited. <laughs> I waited. And it's it's synthetic. It's, you know, it's not cotton, which would be lovely. but And it's uh, wired. And a lot of people would put it on a wreath. But not me. And I thought, oh, my mercy. How am I going to get it to stay down there nicely? And if that is done with glue stick. Not the little one, but this one. So, so far so good. I don't know if it's going to stay that way, but so far so good. And I know, with the stripes and that, how shabby chic is that? But you know what? This, this journal is going to have a little bit of everything. So, and then, oh yeah. Some more stenciling on the inside, as you know, I like to do. Uh, Handsome did get me a little book with the roses in it, and so I stenciled the... I don't have stencils. I had to find... Oh, wait a minute. No, I had to finally put them up. I had a pile of stencils over there that I was like, you might use this. And, you might. and so did this, and then put the little... Because there's a mistake under that, because it... Um, everything as you see was fine until right there and it wanted the stencil wanted to bleed a little bit so I was like no no and I like the way it looks in fact I think it looks better and then I stenciled up here and then took my Tombow marker 158 and did a little darker you know a little shading and stuff and then I have those same little teeny tiny punches that I did here in yellow and then went around them in the straw distress ink and that's how that turned out on the inside didn't do anything on the outside yet did outside and not inside of this book oh yes I did <laughs> oops uh, lace over here this is a lace stencil over here that I did in I don't know what this was the wild honey or the scattered straw but it came out too dark. So I took my finger and put it in my gesso and just, because I was like, you're too, too much of a good thing. And then stenciled, I had a tiny little stencil of this rose. And then um, these I cut off of trim. These I made myself, these leaves. And then punch, punch. And then I wanted these glittered flowers to look more like either Black Eyed Susans or uh, sunflowers. So then I put, again with my hole punch, put the centers like that, which kept them flat and made it 
like I've wanted it. Um, washi tape, and it's a ribbon, and then fabric washi that I hoard, but I think looks good. So, then, <laughs> then I did this envelope, and, and I know when a lot of people win my items, and then when they get to the envelope like this, um, they'll say, what is that? They will literally say out loud, what is that? And I understand 100%, but it's my way of closing it where you can close it again and again and again and again if you need to. It's um, that Dollar Tree sticker of that wonderful glittered sunflower that is, since it's a sticker, it's on, did I put that, or is that such a sticker? Yeah, that's on white cardstock and then fussy cutter out and then it's up on foam tape so that this goes in and out. And I went ahead and put this here to reinforce because this is paper not cardstock and just reinforce it. Okay. And then this is one of those stickers from Dollar Tree I was telling you about. The thing is the designer of that reminds me so so much of a designer for or that design for Hallmark for some time and I don't know how to say her name correctly but I think it's Maddie Maddie or something Bastain Bastain something similar where she would do show you pictures and then see here's your tube of paint with some of the paint squeezed out. She would do stuff like that and she'd do birdies and flowers and just beautiful scenes. It reminded me when I saw that I thought, oh, a lot like her work. So I've got this stuff so far. Oh wait, I've got other stuff to show you. Um, remember I showed you, let me get it. That's the good thing about just being up here talking and oh, this is going to have glue. Remember, I got this in my last 75% off. Handsome nose. I love to seek out those orange stickers, but I don't think they're as pretty in the craft room. <laughs> so he, this goes in my closet in the craft room, but still, they hang up. I, if you got these, or if you see these and they're still on clearance, you, I'm going to show you what they come out to. Look. They are adorable and this is um, the designer is Jen Long and um, you get seven dies and it is just you know the stampin die and guys 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 you ready oh my stars and garters I absolutely love them to pieces <laughs> I'm going to stand up and show you because I don't think you get any cuter than that. How precious are they? Can you see? Oh, so darling. So, so darling. And um, stamp them out with the archival ink. And then took my, I don't have Copic markers or anything like that. Um, my alcohol um, ink pens are what I got um, at Ross or what I got on clearance or whatever so it's a hodgepodge of a bunch of them but um, so I did them look at that and uh, like I said I did them and there's two shades here but this is hard to see uh, and two shades here and I ended up doing the same shades here um, those pins are, are not in the craft room right now, or I'd show you what I got. But, and look how beautiful the, well, of course it's uh, Sizzix, so, but you know, their dyes are just gorgeous. So I'm super happy with these guys, to the point where I don't know how I'm going to use them. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do. So... One other thing, two other things, and then I'll let you go. And yes, this paper, because it's paper, is very, I kind of like it though, it's a 
very thin and very warped because on the inside is gesso and then this is the uh, distress ink around it and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm thinking, uh, first I thought picture, picture, but I think it needs a little something in the corners, you know? Just a little something. And I am going to take some, not watercolor, but I'm going to take some acrylic paint and just take my brush, it'll be a flat brush, and just you know what I mean? Boom, 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 boom. That's it. You know, I don't want anything. That, and then do something cute in the corners. That's what I have in mind. This was done on that. See how bright that yellow is? And I was like, mm. So first I did white, actually. What is the white distressing? Pick a fence. And I did that first because I was like, baby, you need to tone down. And that... As you see on the front, didn't do it on the back, on the front. And it, yeah, it's okay. And then I did uh, the black. And the thing about, this is a new stencil, lace stencil for me. And it didn't, it wasn't working the way I want it now. I don't know if it's because my paper was not flat or what it was. But, oh, and then this guy and this guy are from there we go remember when I got the park lane for half price for what was it 125 um, these guys they're from the ephemera package so I am use, using what I got so um, and then with this one I just added a bit of black lace and this is a sticker that's clear that I put on the white cardstock and then cut it up. Okay? So, trying to, to dive in, or not dive in, I'm just putting my toe in the mixed media. Just a toe. Nothing else yet. Nothing else. <laughs> so then, then here we go. I'm like, okay. I need to do something, um, if you watch Jen Jen's Creations, I think that's the whole of her title. I'll list her down below also. She's been wanting to get into watercoloring. And she asked me, I made a comment on her video. She asked me, do you enjoy watercoloring? Well, watercoloring was introduced to me um, as a teenager. And I had the best art teacher in the world. Uh, as a teenager, really, no, she was the best teacher ever. She, she never made fun of your stuff. She never said, what are you thinking? She always said, how you feel about your creation? What do you think about this? You know what I mean? She'd pull out the positive and help you see where you needed to get stronger without saying you need to do, you know what I mean? She was the coolest teacher ever still remember her name, still remember her look, love her. Anywho, so when they tell you all watercolor paper isn't created equal, they are 100% correct. This watercolor paper is cheap. I got it at Ross, but y'all are going to laugh at me. I absolutely love this paper. As you see, it, it has a, the palest of gray tinge to it. And normally you want it, you know, I want it really white to show the colors, but I absolutely love the feel of it. It feels, <laughs> and it's a weird feeling to love, but I love the feeling of this because it feels like chalk paint's been on it without anything on top of it. Do you know what I mean? Just chalky. It has a chalky, odd, weird feel, and you see very textured line. You could see the lines in it. You could see. I love it, okay? So, with um, Jenny diving into it yesterday, 
this, I think it was yesterday or the day before is when I saw her video and I was like, okay, I've got watercolor paints that I've had for years that I haven't touched because to me, watercolor can be tricky. Um, yes, you can take some of it away with your brush, you know, if it's nice and dry and you're trying to get that boo. -boo. But a lot of times in my past, if I made a boo boo, that boo boo was there. Now with paper craft, you can cut it out. <laughs> it's like, oops, okay, I'll just cut that. But, you know, when you work with watercolors, you want them to be good. So I thought, okay, let me, let me get on YouTube and look at a few videos and see what they're working with. Because I know, like, um, with Tim Holtz, you know, he does wonderful things with his paints and products and everything else. And I was like, okay, let me just see. And I didn't look at Tim and I forgive me because I looked at several videos. I didn't write their names down. I apologize for that because these ladies, they are wonderful. But anywho, so they were saying, this is a stamp. These are three stamps. And they were saying, you know, you can work with your, you know, your water base, water ink, you know, markers. So these are my Tombow markers in 158, 725, and 703. And what one of the people was saying, I didn't do it. They were saying, um, you know, you actually put your markers on your stamps and you don't go like this, you go sideways and you just go, you know, around your stamp where you want this color. You know, let's say you want at the bottom to be green and you go like so. And um, there's several ways you can do it. You can water your paper. You can water the stamp itself. There's lots of things you can do, as most of y'all probably already know. Um, I like the bleeding part of watercolor, but not to the point where you can't tell what I had in the first place. So I was not, I didn't water everything down too much. That's one of the reasons the brown mat is here because, um, I also worked with Distress Oxide and Distress Ink, and you can just put that right on this mat and then clean it up later. So, um, Handsome came in and said, ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> and I said, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect because, as you see, when if you keep going on and on with your water and stuff and you've got cheap paper, you'll see it ruffles it, it roughs it up a little bit, but for me, that's a little added texture, and I'm fine with that. I like it that I let it bleed out a little bit here because I want it to bleed out just a little. I made a mistake here that ended up being better. One thing I did while they were still wet was just to literally go in with the marker, and that's why you see my veins are so wide because, you know, it was wet and it just spread, but I like it. I like the look of it, so I was like, do it. Um, so when your uh, stencil is, not stencil, when your stamp is down, you know, um, like I said, one woman said, stamp it off on a scrap piece of paper first, and then stamp it again, so that you don't, you have that definition, but not too much definition, you know what I mean? I didn't do that, but I'm happy with this, and I will probably take an oval die to this. And like I said, I just love this terrible watercolor paper. <laughs> so then, I also now this won't go in the um, this one won't go in the journal because to me this just isn't bright. Everything is so bright. So this won't go. This reminds me of a vintage some because I did this one with, um, what is it called? Tattered Rose, which reminds me so much of the avocado dyed paper, which I did. So I'll probably use this with that. But one person suggested, and she's a really talented uh, woman on YouTube, she suggested after you do this part, 
um, this is with stencils also, go in and define your leaves and everything with a colored pencil. And I was like, yes, please. Now this, feel, there's so much difference. Okay. This is, this is that one, my cheap piece. Oh, you can see, look at the color difference. This looks like gray, gray, dove gray now. Um, this one came, I think, from, I think this is from Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure. And Master's Touch, I think. Yeah, when it was 50% off. That was a few years back. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back and do that. But this will probably go on a card or something um, later. Not in the journal. So, there's other stuff that I'm working on. I like this cute little pocket. Again, with uh, the doily, but also doing, um, gluing my edges so that it will you know be sturdier I mean it's still not super sturdy and this is one of those little park lane tiny mini pages that I will probably put in there um, I've got this happening here that I had picked out and that's Midge gave me that too and then I I don't even know where I got this guys it's just a small tool piece oh let me see let me get it closer if you look it looks like honeycomb and it's got a little bit of glitter here and there and I'll probably put a little piece of that there but I was really happy to find this because it looks just like honeycomb but you know working on this, this is what I'm up to and I just thought y'all might think it's fun not hearing me ramble on and on about what I did because it's it's kind of like a project share without anything being finished <laughs> but I just thought every once in a while oh my goodness almost an hour that's really not cool um, but I, every once in a while I just thought why don't we come up to the craft room and this might get like three views but <laughs> it's way too long but at the same time you guys you know might enjoy coming up to the craft room um, if any of you all do it let me know and just say come to the craft room uh, this is what I'm doing or this is what I want to do or this is what I'm trying to do or you know and um, let me know in the comments below and I'll come by and visit and see it okay all right well again thank you number one see this this is how I do this is how my desk normally looks a mess but this I want things that around me that I can grab and work with, you know. And I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.